Slow Burn by Black Pistol Fire. Uh, if you don't know already, uh, we saw Black Pistol Fire last weekend in Nashville, Tennessee. There's a link below me describing what happened that night, and there's another link below showing what happened that night uh, changed our lives. So if you'd like to, take a look at that. It's very exciting. Anyway, had a chance to meet the band, and uh, Slow Burn is one of my favorite songs by Black Pistol Fire, and it just has an awesome groove to it. I love the sound of it, and I'll show you how I play it, and maybe you can play it too. Let me turn my dirty down a little bit so it's a little cleaner. Starts with an open E string, still a little dirty. Open E string, and then you're going to go to your third fret, bend it with a little tood, and then release it back to an open E. So I kind of give it a little vibrato there. Now you're going to go to an A bar chord on the fifth fret. So your index finger lays across all the strings on the fifth fret. Your ring finger goes on the seventh fret, as does your pinky on the A and D strings, respectively. And then your middle finger goes on the 6th fret of the G string. And that's an A major chord. It's the exact same chord as this. Okay, A major right there, but now you're playing it up here. So, A bar chord. Hopefully you can do that. It's one of the tougher things to do when you're first starting out, but uh, practice that. Get into that A major uh, bar position. So, once you're there... hit the uh, E string there on that fifth fret and then you're going to hit the G and B strings and then I just kind of run back up the string so after I go G B then I basically go G D A may not be exactly right but it certainly conveys the general idea of that uh, the way that uh, Kevin plays it and then right as I'm coming down those strings and about the time I get to that A string, I lift up my big fat ring uh, index finger and roll down to where I now have a bar chord on the third fret. That's a G major bar chord. And uh, it kind of resolves on that. So... You're almost done with that main riff, but if you've got your uh, hand in that position of an uh, of a G major bar chord, you're going to slide from the fifth fret up to the seventh fret with your ring finger on the A string. You're going to slide up to the seven. You're going to grab the five of the D with a little bit of tune. And then you resolve on the 7 of the A again. So. And then I'm going to slide back down the fretboard. Now, very important in this song, you don't just play notes. all about bending or sliding into position you know I watched Kevin play at that show from very close <laughs> perspective I was closer to him than I am to the camera right here as my videos will show right here as my videos will show uh and you know kevin's just very loose and very i mean just all, every note he plays has has feeling and emotion and attitude and uh you know that's what makes him a great guitar player and so if i want to be a great guitar player or you want to be one you know you just got to add more than a note you got to add the emotion behind it so that's 
all I'll say about that. Just this particular song really does well. <laughs> some bending, some vibrato, some sliding, okay? So the next part is when he starts singing about, hey now mama, and so that's just open E string, third, fifth, seventh, fifth. And again, slide from one to the other. Seventh of the A string, fifth of the A string. And then you're going to go 7, 5, 3 on the E string. So I'll do that opening part again. Starts over. Up to that point, it's the exact same. In fact, one more note's the exact same. The seventh fret of the E string. But instead of going, you're going to go up. So after the seventh fret of the E, you go to the seventh fret of the A and then the fifth fret of the D string. So that little bridge part, or the chorus, whatever that part is called, both runs in on a G note. So that's a G, that's a G, They're just an octave apart. So that's why the song has balance and symmetry. So anyway. can't swear that he does it exactly that way every time, but that's certainly the, the general notion of that part of the song. And then that uh, section, again, if that's the chorus, he goes to an A chord, G power chord. So A is on the fifth fret of the E string with the seventh fret of the A string added in there. Drop down two frets to the third fret of the E string. Then kind of bends that G note, the third fret, and goes back to the beginning or back to the open E power chord. So what we've discussed so far is this. the guitar solo. So it, it starts every time with a, a double hit on that E power chord. Just like that. And then it has a section one and a section two. Section one is done four times. Section two is done four times. Section one is always the same. Section two is always the same when it's done the second, third, and fourth time. The first time it's done, it's a little bit different. So here's section one. You go double hit on the E power chord, then you're gonna you're gonna bend up the G string on the second fret, hit it again on the second fret, and then release it. Hit the D string on the second fret and release it. And then resolve on the third fret of the E string, which is your G note. I just uh, did that a couple of times in a row there. So that's section one, and again, that is done four times. Section two, the first time section two is played, it sounds like this. So you're going to start on the uh, G string, slide up from the second fret to the fourth fret, and then grab the third fret of the B string. Then you go back to the fourth fret of the G, back to the second fret of the G. And once you hit that, just kind of aggressively remove your index finger from that second fret, and that'll create an open G note sound.
And Kevin might do something like... You know, he lands on that E note, which is the second fret of the D string. Or if you can kind of get back to that that whole power chord and, and include that in there. I think there might be two guitars playing that. I don't know. Either that or Kevin might be a better guitar player than me. One or the other. So, hits that again a second time. Now you're back to section one. Now section two. And this is how it goes until the end of the uh, solo. You slide from the second to the fourth fret on the G string. So kind of familiar territory. So instead of bending it, you're sliding up. And then you're hitting the third of the B, familiar territory. But instead of coming back down, you're going to trill up to that fifth fret of the B string and then go back to the third fret of the B string. Okay, and then after that... final time and the song ends by going and hits it with that E power chord at the end there. Well that's it. Slow Burn by Black Pistol Fire. I love this song. Love this band. Uh, and if you don't uh, mind hit the like button but only if you like this video. Also subscribe if you haven't already and that's just very encouraging to me. Keeps me kind of motivated for making the tutorials of the songs that we all love. So that's it. Over and out from my easy chair.